Hello there, Adi Wally. Sorry for the delay in getting back to you. We've got some deliverability issues at the moment. Okay, so first of all, all right, when you are writing your essay, you need to use the technology, okay? Because this um, one, it's mistakes that, you know, technology can help you with. And, you know, then we can spend more time giving you feedback. Okay, so first of all, I can see at the at first glance, um, this would be band six, I guess, if that, maybe, maybe lower. Okay, we need four paragraphs. We need an, uh, and it, it needs to be, you know, a, we need more text in the body paragraphs and in, in the two body paragraphs, and then we need a proper introduction as well. Okay, um, so, yeah, let's have a look. International organizations have brought with them, yeah, consistency, plural, singular, both good and bad effects. So good is basic, bad is basic, okay, positive and negative at the very minimum. Good and bad is among the first words we learn in the English language, all right? If we're going for a band seven, we need to be vastly, vastly better than this. Also, okay, while in one case it has infiltrated into countries affecting their way of life negatively, comma, such as eroding their local languages, it has also brought some benefits of education which improved their health care. Good, 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 good. We've got a conjunction in there as well. In my opinion, I believe it is, has um, done, again, and good, basic words, a basic word, okay? I believe also, uh, okay, it has um, distributed more, it has more positive, has a more positive impact than negative um, because of the healthcare reasons, which I will explain, or which will be explained in the subsequent paragraph, okay? I will be discussing these basic mistake here two opinions and take my stand in the next paragraph. So empty sentence here that we need to adapt to the essay. It's empty because I can put that into a paragraph, into an essay about global warming. Yeah. So we need to m make sure that each sentence corresponds to the topic. As organizations all over the world continue to increase their sphere of influence, great little stat there, they come along with change. They bring along, ch they often hedging, they often bring uh, along, they often bring change in language, which over time can erode the local language of their host countries. Beautiful. We see that happen in Africa. In my country, Nigeria, local dialects are no longer being spoken in families as people are studying to communicate in English, which, comma, which is the language being used by the colonial masters and the language by which most businesses are conducted in the world. Okay, so be careful here. As far as I know, Nigeria is not a colony anymore. So we could, we, so we have to be a little bit more accurate. I have to say, which was the language previously used by the colonial masters. Okay, now it's accurate. Okay, because Nigeria is independent nowadays. Globalization is eroding languages in Africa. Therefore, yeah, a little bit of paragraph structure here. Therefore, globalization is eroding or can be argued as, you know, just a more formal way of saying it, eroding languages in Africa. On the other hand, globalization, we're not talking about globalization here, we're talking about international marketing. So let's get them two concepts crystal clear. Jump on Wikipedia. International marketing is one of the, could be argued as one of the consequences of globalization, but don't convolute them, don't get them mixed up, they are different. On the other hand, globalization has brought with a lot has brought with it a lot of health benefits. Pre pre previously, people in Africa used to die of immunosuppressive diseases. Yeah, we're off topic, totally off topic here. So this is another reason why you probably lose points. This is becoming a thing of the past with the various vaccines that has been produced that are being produced and is making children and adults <laughs> survive communicable diseases. Deadly diseases, probably better. 
pervasive diseases such as polio. I like is more suitable for spoken English, such as, on the other hand, is uh, more suitable for formal English, academic English. Medical personnel have learned how to, yeah, totally off topic here. You know, international marketing is like Coca-Cola doing a marketing campaign in India or in Nigeria, you know, or even, I don't know, a French company doing a marketing campaign in I don't know, Brazil, for example. Yeah. Um, so we're way off topic here. In conclusion, the health benefits of globalization are immense consistency and cannot be overlooked despite the language problem it poses. Okay. So, yeah. Need to double and triple check Tash response. Okay. Um, also, I would suggest you look at the essay checkout we've got on the site. You know, and that's coming with a very powerful course as well on how to structure your essay. Because I see there isn't that many language problems. The main challenge we have, Abbe Wally, is the IELTS skill and making your English more formal, more academic. So have a look at the links that I've sent over with this essay um, and we can... Uh, yeah, I think it'll be quite a quick and painless way to improve your work. So let's have a look at the line academic one. The line chart shows the abil ability of five different materials to heat at 25 degrees, 25 degrees Celsius. The conductive conductivity is measured in. Okay, I think that's just a error uh, for using this for using the wrong software, but that's irrelevant best material is acetone at 60. The most effective, okay, again, upgrading our language. It is followed closely by acetylene, which is a gas. Acetylene is about 50 watt lesser, 50 K lesser, 50 kilowatts less at about 15 50. Acetyl is closely behind it, just, just below the 1500 mark. Excellent, excellent little sentence there. The least so you need to review your superlatives. The least conductive of heat are acrylic and air. Of the two, acrylic is the least condu conducive at 1350. Midway between them, 15,000 Midway between, okay, that, that's irrelevant. We know, everybody knows where 1350 stands. It's between three... 1300 and 1400 so delete that well there is above the 14,000 mark but not up to the middle line midline between 14 and 15. okay fine okay so this is a good feature even in this report yeah the difference between so great work there for comparing I'd like to, we did do a little bit of grouping as well so that's fantastic Okay, so the difference between the highest conductors is, is, is over 200. Great, the difference between the, the next best three conductors as there is, is 50. As we go down the conducting capacity, beautiful. The least two conductive. So keep it consistent, okay? We've got the written word two here, and then we've got the number two here. So this is another IELTS skill you definitely need to develop. The least two conductive are are acrylic and air maintain okay the least two conductive acrylic and air maintain a difference of about 100 between each other great sentence okay apart from this one air is the closest to the least of the best better conductors acetylene okay excellent so good work there good work again as i said it's more like ielts skills and the language and the vocabulary that we need again i'd probably put this at a six um, because that's, it's, it's sad because I think, um, once you start writing essays, use the word processor, work on the spelling, work on the basics first, and also obviously get more feedback and also consider investing in the course, which will show you the language, the structures, frameworks you need for scoring. The good thing is, Abbe Wally, is that I think you're close. You've got the language skills. We need to work more on the IELTS skills. So have a look at the links I send you. Have a super day.
thanks for sending your essence. Sorry for the delay in getting it back to you.